So now that we have our model ready, what we can do is actually start creating some records in our database. So what they want us to do is create a person with the name, age and favorite foods. And then we want to save this to our database. So the first thing to do is create a person. Now I kind of showed you how to do this in the last video, but um, I'll do it again here. And if I just took a quick look at this um, server.js and um, the test for all this is being run inside the um, it's the test for this is being done inside the create and save person function right here. So we have to write all our code inside this create and save person function that's being done here. So I'm so first let's create a person. So I'm just gonna say something like let um, Francesca for example equals new person and remember inside it we give it um, an object um, with all the um, types and values from our schema so we want to do name um, Francesca let's say age 20 um, and then favorite oops we have to be careful with the um, you there favorite foods and I'm just gonna go with just one item in here, sushi. I don't know. She likes Japanese food. Um. So then, what we need to do is we have to basically try and save this to our database. So we have the database connection um that we set up here. So what we can do is once we've created an instance of a person or an instance of a model, we can call the save method on that. By the way, this this instance of a model is called the document. So you want to call so the save method on the document or on Francesca or whatever the person's called. And this is a function that takes in two things. So it takes in um, a data and an error. So if this was done successfully, this function will be called. So this function is always gets called. And if it was done successfully, the error, sorry, the error in the data should be the opposite way around. Um, I'll just say that again. So once a save is completed, it'll run this function that takes in an error and a data, I think. And um, yeah, function error and data. So if there's an error, this error value will have something. And if it was successful, this data value will have something. So the first thing we want to do is if there's an error, we just want to um, log the error just so we know what happened. It's kind of like doing um, an async import, I guess, using an XML HTTP request. And otherwise, so if there wasn't an error, so we only want to continue if the error doesn't exist, um, we have this data right here. And the way that this is tested is that um, in here, they they run the create and save um, person thing with a function here. And this function is basically this um, done function that it takes in. So we need to run the done function. Um, that's just the function that they'll use to test. And then this done function just takes in null and data. And if we look at the test, what it does is it kind of like checks if that data exists. So if there isn't a data, then it will return an error and so on. So again, what this does is it tries to save it. If there's an error, it logs it. Otherwise it runs this done function, which is what we wanted. So let's save that and try submitting it. So you just wanna, again, um, sorry, click share and then copy this live app link and try pasting it in. Um, one thing I've noticed for me was it sometimes takes a couple of attempts for it to work. No, this one worked first time. Um, and if we look at our data here in, in the DB1 database and I just refresh it, we can see that this new collection has just been created called people. And now you might be wondering where it got this name people from since our model is called person. And I just had a look at this and this is actually quite cool. When um, Mongoose automatically looks for a plural version of your model name. So that's quite, I think that's quite interesting. So it's actually converted our person into people for us. Um, the reason that 
there's no there's no actual people created inside of this so the reason francesca isn't in this is that in um server.js what they do is they then proceed to actually remove that person so if i were to like maybe just comment this out for now and i run the test again so it'll run that function again it succeeds this time but if we refresh it now um we can see that look we have our first piece of data in the database so we have the document right here and we have all this information in a json like syntax and each time you add people they'll pop up here um i'm just going to restore this now because i don't want another one to be created um so yeah but again all you have to do is um in here just create a new person then run the save method on that and if there's no error for that you want to call done with that null and data where the data comes from here so yeah i hope that's clear